every spider lost in this great big world, there is a warm place with friendly room service, delicious food, and a warm place to stay the night. This is Spider Bed and Breakfast. Welcome back to Spider Bed and Breakfast on what is becoming a series. Now when you first see this spider, you're probably going to think it's a black widow because I definitely did. At the pet store I work at, there's a lot of spiders in the, little, in the corners and everything and I saw this one run out when I was cleaning up and it actually scared me because I thought it was a black widow. And you'll see why. Like the body and everything is shaped very much like a black widow. But this is the second episode of the Steatota genus. This is a Steatota grossa. You can see under here that it doesn't have a red hourglass or anything. And then here you can see the markings on its back. And later on you'll be able to see that it's a little bit more brown than it is black. But here's a video that I sped up a ton because they take forever to eat of it eating a cricket that it caught in its web. But this was definitely one of my favorite spiders and it was really hard to see it go. So these guys as well will make a cobweb style um, webbing, which is one of the reasons why it's called a cobweb spider, as well as a false widow. Now I wouldn't recommend handling one of these spiders if you see it right away because they are so similar to a black widow, you might end up handling an angry mother black widow. This one, when it ran out, I caught it in a cup really fast and I was actually excited because I thought it might be a black widow. But I was even more excited when I found it out that it was just a very large Steatota grossa. Um, the best way to tell if it's different than a black widow or a brown widow is to see the underside of it. And if you can't see that, it's a better idea to just leave them alone or catch them in some sort of container where they're not going to be able to get out and get anywhere close to you. Because they do have a bite, the Steatota grossa do, does have a bite that can be medically significant if you're allergic to it, but not nearly as bad as a black widow, so just always be careful. If you ever see a Steatota grossa like this one anywhere around your house or your work or something like that, if it's in a place where it might cause problems to somebody, you can move it, but these are actually a great spider to have around. They're excellent predators for other more harmful bugs, and in the western United States where I live, they're actually one of the most effective predators for hobo spiders, which are much more of a problem. The only real reason a spider like this would ever bite you, or even a female black widow, is if you're applying pressure to it unintentionally. Brave Wilderness just re released an awesome video about black widows, and Steatota and other false widows are pretty much the same. Just don't squish them and they won't bite you. The only reason they would bite you is to warn you that you're there, that they are there and that they don't want to be killed by you. So they are not aggressive like a lot of people might think. I have all this footage of me handling it because this was definitely the hardest spider to let go of so far. It was so beautiful and sweet and just I never knew anything about this species before and it looks so much like a black widow that I would have been so scared but like we do on spider bed and breakfast I I fed it like you guys saw earlier, I got to play with it a little bit, and then we have to let it go, let it go out into the wild. So these guys make a web that's almost entirely identical to um, the True Widows, I believe it's Latrodectus. They are very similar. Um, they make a cobweb pattern which actually makes it really hard to feed them because it's not as uniform as an orb weaver's web, which can be really easy to feed. But if you guys ever see one of these guys, don't be too, too scared and just don't kill it. Be careful. I'm not saying handle it like I am, but be careful, respect it, and know that they're not there to hurt you. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Spider Bed and Breakfast. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We have a new video every week, and I'm really excited for next week's. It actually features my favorite spider. Steatota Grossa is a really cool, but you, next week you guys will see my current favorite spider. And if you haven't already, check out our Facebook too. And have a great day, you guys. Thanks for watching.